Beast Twin Plays here, back in another video. I hope you guys are doing great. It has been just a bit since we uploaded a video, and um, yeah, welcome. Uh, the last video I think was the audio visualizer, so that's that's pretty dope. Um, before we start this video, please feel subscribe and click the post notification buttons, guys. It means so much to me. And uh, yeah, we are actually almost at 4K as you can see in live count. That is amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't believe that. Also, join the Discord. We just hit 400 members today, so that was amazing. Uh, thank you guys again so much. I'm uh, so happy about that. Um, but, um, yeah. So, basically, today, we're going to be working on the Dance UI. Now, I kind of just made a new version of the Vibe UI. It should be Vibe UI 3.0. So, before I start the video, go in the description, look for models, and click the link that says Vibe UI. It should take you to this one. This is 3.0. Um, this should include the Dance UI, basically, with it. Now... If you do have, it, it might pop up some other things, but if you don't have uh, everything from the last few videos, go and check out all of them. But I forgot to say, guys, at the end of the series or, you know, just sometime, I'm going to be making a game that is uncopylocked, and I will probably paste everything in there and uh, have literally, yeah, just everything in there. And I'll be updating that instead and so you guys can see what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, so let's get to this now. I know a lot of people have been wondering how can you get really nice dance animations. Like I've had people ask me multiple times, you know, can you do a tutorial on that? Can you make a tutorial on getting these really cool anim animations that, you know, you don't have to make or how to make animations. Now, if you guys are trying to do that, there's great YouTubers out there and I'd recommend to go uh, check them out. You know, there's just search up how to make an animation, a dance animation. There's tons of them. And, um, but I'm going to be linking a description, in the, uh, video in the description on talking about Mixamo. Mixamo is basically a animation place where you can literally make your own animation. And um, it's, it's used for development. Now, as you can see, I'll bring it up right here for you. So basically what it is, is it's a 3D render model. And how you can do stuff is you can get these really cool dance animations. And I'm talking Roblox. Like you can put this in Roblox. Um, and a lot of people have this is like what Vibe NYC does. Um, and there is so much, guys. There is a ton. And these are the really better dances, you know. These are the cooler ones. Um, but this is used for real development, uh, like Unity, 3D Engine, all that kind of jazz. Um, but I'm going to be linking a video. It's made by Mix Dizzy. I don't know how to say her name. My dog's in the background. But um, she will teach you exactly how to do it. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's, it's a little complicated, but I just didn't want to make a video on it because, like, there's, it's already out there, and uh, you know it's cool though. Um, but this is basically what we're doing, what you can do to get cool animations and dance UIs. So just watch that video, and I'll let you about know about it later. So basically, what we had and what for the new video is when you click open the UI, everything's the same. But when you click this in, it's gonna open up, and it will be slaying this new dance UI. Now I hope you guys do like the look of this. You can change this all you want. You know, mine my theme's blue. That's why I have this. Um, but it is like this. Now there is two versions. I made two versions of this. Scrolling UI and then the click one. The click one is a little bit more complicated and harder to make because uh, there's only, let's see, three, six, seven buttons you can do in each one. And that means you're gonna have to do a lot of um, you're gonna have to do a lot of placing and scripting and it's just kind of annoying. But you know, this one is cooler. It looks way cooler, so you know, depending on how much time you want to spend on animations, this is the first version. And I'll show you how to add more pages and basically how this works. Uh, but yeah, so that's the first version. Now let me pause this video and get you the second version. Now I kind of forgot to say in the video, go to Toolbox, go to your uh, inventory, and you'll just click that Vibe UI 3.0, and it will load in right over here. And basically it would just be this UI, put it in Starter UI. This is everything, and I mean this is literally everything. It has all the other ones. Um, if you want to look at my video videos, how to customize that, go ahead. But so we have animations two and animations one now. The first one is the. Let me actually just bring both of them out uh, because why not? So we're gonna go 0.5. So you can see the difference. Um, this one's a click and this one's a scroll. Now the scroll is pretty cool because it's more simple. Uh, you can just straight up like add as many dances as you want and just make the scroll you know thinner and all that jazz. Um, so. It's kind of why I made the scroll because I know a lot of people are like doing either scroll or click and honestly like I personally kind of like scroll better because then it's not as difficult but either way this is for you guys so you're going to check it out. Now it, whenever you want to choose the right one so I'm just going to brought out just say it right now so decide which one do you want okay. Do you want to go the easy way or do you want to go a uh, more time consuming way. Um, but 
if you want to make yours really cool like this one, then feel free to watch the rest of the video. But what you got to do is just quickly change this and go to the name and get rid of that too right there. And then just delete this other one. Just delete that. Um, and then put this and go to position and keep it at one. It should be at one already. But if you want, just get rid of that too. And then uh, basically remove that one. So that should work. And I'll actually show you guys that in a second here. So uh, now we are going to go to back to 0.7 because that's why I want it outside. And I'm going to show you how we add buttons and how it works. Now, I kind of think I did this already in the last video. Um, I think I'll make sure to, at the end of this video to give you guys a model, but let me say if I actually, let me find that real quick. Yeah, our 15 dances. Okay, I'll make sure to link this too in the description. Um, basically, what you'll be doing is you'll be grabbing this humanoid, and this humanoid is where we'll be getting all the dances, the original dances. And um, you'll be opening it up, and you'll go to animation saves, and there's all these guys. These are all the cool ones you can look at and get. Um, now, to get these, all you got to do is right-click on one of them, and then save to Roblox. So when you save that to Roblox, let's call it uh, guitar like it is. And then you just go test and we'll hit submit. And then you'll copy that right there. Click that link and it's going to pull up the link and it's going to be like this. You're going to grab that nine number. So make sure to have that in style. So that is the dance animation. So I'm going to close that. Now let's look at this real quick. So I'm actually going to delete this because we don't really need to look at that for me. But we're going to go to let's do this one real quick. We'll do the scrolling frame. So scrolling frame will go inside there and it'll be button two. We're going to duplicate it and we are basically going to move it down. So right there, we're going to call this button two now, and then we're going to go inside button two, actually right here, sorry, text. We're going to call this guitar because that is the text, and that is what it is. Animation ID, and this is where we're changing the value. This is where we're putting that nine number in animation ID. That kind of makes sense. Um, I hope it does. Animation ID is basically like the, I guess you could say, um, value for getting the animation online and then playing on the user UI corners just to uh, make this look all cool but animation ID just change that right there so now we have that and then we're gonna go in anim script now I didn't change this from the last one but there's all these already in here so actually what we're gonna we're gonna actually let's actually finish the rest of them but let's do this so we're gonna go and duplicate this again we're gonna paste it down here and then let's just keep going real quick and I think I did seven if I'm right yeah seven buttons and then like I said I'll be uploading this to the video so you guys will be able to see this so like i said guys it's kind of weird because uh moving things you can make the, i see i'm not too good with uis but uh let's say you wanted to just like make these all the right order and stuff you can do like a ui grid layout if i'm right but um yeah i'm too stupid for that so okay so we have button three but and we're gonna go to button three so button three we're gonna call this button four button five now like i said guys you just re-upload all those animations uh i didn't really want to show you all of them but because i'm gonna actually show you real quick i have them really already ready for me um and sorry i didn't really explain this well so people have been having a problem with uh dances not working like the dance ui is just not working for you now i know there is one thing you can do to solve this if i'm right i'm gonna double check here actually so we probably might need to re-upload one animation um yeah, wait, we're gonna have to do that one more time. Let's grab this guy one more time. Um, so yeah, there's one more way if I'm positive. So if you are doing this on a group game, if I'm right, you have to save the Roblox. Yeah, okay. So this is where people are having problems. So it's gonna work in studio, but if you're having a problem with your group, okay, and you have a group game and the dance admissions, you should be uploading it to the group game, okay? And that's why you go to creator and you change it right here to anything. So like I had Twinks Community, that's a group. So you do that. So that's why it's not working for some people. So I just wanted to let you guys know, and I just realized that I didn't say that in my last video, and I'm so sorry about that, but there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's say I did four vid. Um, button two, we're gonna look at this, is, is Crazy Feet. So, oh wait, button three, we'll do that. And we'll go Crazy Feet, okay. And then button three, we got Default Dance. And then default dance so default dance and when you're duplicating these guys like see how like it goes out of the view you can see what i mean but uh the scrolling frame you can just scroll down and place them like that it's a little weird but you'll you'll understand that okay so default dance and we have the floss wait a minute no we have electro shuffle and then electro shuffle okie dokie we're gonna go 
back down here. And then we got the floss. And then the worm. Floss. And then we have worm. So we're going to name those. And then we're going to go to button three animation ID. So we're going to grab that one. So this is crazy feet if I'm right. That's crazy feet. We'll grab that. Grab that. And then we'll go to button four. Sorry guys, this is a little bit of a process. And then we'll paste that right there. So I already have my animation IDs, but if you guys don't have these already, you're good to just, uh, oh wait. Okay, I think that's right. <laughs> wait, one, two, six. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, one, two, six. And then these two. Okay, so like that, and then button seven. Okay, we'll just delete that. Okay, so now, now that we have that all situated, if you do the scrolling UI, you're gonna go in here and you're gonna look at this. So what we're doing is we're grabbing the script.parent of the frame and then right down here, so this is the animation, this is how we play the animations, and we're basically doing it where if the animation is being played and they click another one, it's gonna play the new one, and then if they out, out click of it, so they click the same animation again, it will stop all of those animations that it had playing. Um, but so how this works is we're calling the buttons. Now, what you got to do if you want to create another button down here is you go right here. And so I already have seven ready for you. So you'll see when I upload this. Um, but you'll go right here. You go here and you go B8 equals frame dot button eight. So we need to make another button for that. But you understand what I'm trying to say. And then B8 right here. B8 right here. And there you go. So what we're doing is when the button is pressed, it's going to play the animation. So it's going to go through this function and it's going to go to the button and then it's going to go to the animation dot value. And that's when it grabs the animation and then does that. And then I'm doing sound plays and it plays the sound when you play the button, click the button. So um, actually, let me see sound play. Now sound is where is that at? Sound is script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot sound. Okay, we're good. And then what we're going to do is actually, I think we can just keep this out. So let's look at this real quick. And, I, and they're going to be out here real quick. I'm just going to make sure it works and understand. We, you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, damn. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so let's see if that works. Okay. Perfect. Okay, it works. There you go, guys. So, um... Basically, as you can see, we have two of the models, and I'm going to maybe, oh yeah, I'll show this one real quick again. Sorry, I, I don't want to take too much time, but this is basically the scrolling one. Now, like I said, choose one, figure it out, um, but animation-wise, if you guys want some really cool animations, there's so many out there, guys. You just have to think about it, um, but let's look at this real quick again. So now, let's say you choose one. I'll just turn this off invisible. Let's say you choose this one, okay? You're gonna basically go to position, set that to one, and you're good, and it's done. And then make sure it says animation. So I'll keep these both, and so you guys can understand which one to choose. Um, this one I'll also put at one real quick, and uh, upload. I'll actually just upload that real quick for you. So let me one second, I'm gonna pause this. <laughs> okay, so let's say you wanted to do the other one. Um, this was the first one, and you want to add more pages. Now, the pages are a little weird, guys. I was doing a stream on it, and I still didn't really understand it. Uh, so let's see if I understand and make it again. <laughs> so, um, okay, so let's do this. So we have page two, page one. Now we're going to duplicate this. Okay, page three. So you know what? This is pretty simple. Now, if you're trying to edit it, like where you can just edit it and then not worry, not know, like you want to be able to see the buttons, um, I'd recommend just bringing this frame out. But if you kind of have a good memory and like just like can do it like from your mind, just go in here and all you guys got to do is change the animation ID and change the text button uh, text and you're good. So let's, I'll do it one more time. I'll delete all these rest of these buttons and then we'll name it uh, test real quick. So, but also how this works is you're going to go into this local script. Now this one, oh wait, not that one. Sorry guys. <laughs> the, where is it at? Um, this isn't that one, is it? Oh yeah, that's the button to, that's, that's to make the pages scroll. So as you can see, we're going to the page list and then we're basically going next and you know, all that jazz. Um, 
Oh, it's in page one. Duh, I forgot. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're going to do two things. Okay, so we have frame one and frame two. Now we're going to make another one. So we're going to do a frame three, and we're going to go equals script dot parent dot parent dot page three. So that is basically this one. Okay, and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to go down here, and now see how I have these comments kind of? We're basically going to do that same thing again. So we're going to go page three. And we're gonna go local b1 and then you can actually just copy this and you're good <laughs> so that's what i mean so um you copy this paste it down here and then you're gonna go frame three wait did i do frame three right here oh yeah i did do frame three there you go now it should work so see how it says frame frame two frame three and then you basically just make the buttons and it has one through seven and that's because there's only seven buttons and you don't really change anything else but this right here you just need to add on so you just add the two and the three and keep going so uh, yeah, I guess that is pretty simple to make actually. Never mind, maybe it's not that hard. Uh, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to do there. So now we're actually gonna test this out. So we're gonna go right here, page, we're gonna go here, animations, and we're gonna go one. And then let's name this two again because uh, I don't want you guys to not understand what we're doing. So we're gonna hit play here and test them out. So like I said, it's I'm doing animations two because uh, we don't want that one opening because in the script for the dance UI, it opens the one with animation. See how this is kind of doing an error thing. So yeah, don't worry about that. But you open it up and there we go. Let's see. Perfect. I, I actually really do love this one. I got to be honest. Pretty dope. It's pretty sick to be honest with you. So um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, I'm going to try and work right now on the radio system. Uh, music system, radio system is different. But uh, that's gonna take me just a bit and yeah, so I'm gonna try my best on that you guys Like I said, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please comment subscribe and like and share you guys. It means so much to me um, And yeah, also join the group if you it's in the description. So feel free to join that But um, yeah, you guys I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Peace